Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Karen Ellis and I am here at the Art House Studio on my Thursday evening at the studio here on Ustream. And um, as I mentioned on our Facebook page earlier, um, I thought I would decorate a bowl, a paper mache, not quite paper mache for me, but inspired by a paper mache bowl that the Jelly Arts pe people posted as a challenge on their blog and on Facebook recently. And um, I put it out there that I was thinking of uh, doing up a bowl and then decorating it on here this evening. So that is what I'm going to do. So this bowl is paper. Now, I didn't paper mache it in a traditional sense. I used regular printer paper and a little bit of a watered down gel medium. So I didn't use uh, Mod Podge or, or PPA or P well, PVA, the Elmer's glue. Um, and I didn't use uh, tissue. I used printer paper. And I quite liked it. Um, the printer paper is not so thick that it won't bend and move for you. Um, it's a little bit stronger, I think, than, than newsprint. But any would work. You're basically just getting a paper form, right? And I did it in a balloon. So this is paper mache on a balloon. You can kind of see that, I'm sure. And then once I had it all dry, I took out the uh, balloon, sealed it with um, some regular gel medium, and then I painted it. Now, I've been painting it with the Americana multi-surface paints. The uh, under bit people were telling me it looked like a watermelon <laughs> was made with this leprechaun and chartreuse. Let's see if I can, there we go. But of course I was using some of the other paints here. I have turquoise and coastal waters. There we go. Yay! And then I also dug out, well dug out, it's new to me, new to everyone. This is a Shimmer Mister from Deco Art Media. Uh, this is the turquoise color. Wow, does it ever work beautifully? And as a spray, it really does not react it dries permanent which is cool so through a stencil i did the shimmer here we go you can see the stencil it's a specimen stencil from the crafters workshop and then i just kind of embedded the stencil again with a little bit more paint which is so it's not quite in your face but that is what i was doing so far now this was a jelly arts challenge so using up your scraps so here are some of my scraps that I have made with my jelly print my jelly printing plate so I wanted to get out some reds because of course complementary colors to what I have here on my bowl because um, I'll probably do something circular or floral or something like that because that's what I like to do so I'm going to continue doing it so I just grabbed the various types of paper um, some are printer paper, some are cover stock. This one is a Japanese uh, printing paper. Um, this was when I was using my jelly print. This is all the Brayer marks. <laughs> Yay! Yay for that. So, leftovers from that uh, pattern. For those of you who have taken my, my uh, Jelly Towns class, you'll recognize a bit of that pattern. So this is a, a section of that. Little bits of this, little bits of that, and we're going to use it to really decorate this bowl. And so I do have some gel medium here. I am using my golden regular gel. Um, I could use the gloss. The gloss might be fun, but I think maybe I'll do that after. And I have some scissors here. And I have also ready to go some of my fine tip pens. I have some white in here and... Uh, Goldens, carbon black, sap green. We'll see. We'll figure out what we use. And I also have here beside me some uh, Viva Decor Pearl pens because I love to accent with those. I'm going to put that out. And we'll see. Beside me is my trolley with all my pens and things too. So, But I think right now that's probably good to go. It's enough. So I'm going to start by taking my scraps and just start making some stuff to put on it. I hope all of you are doing well in the chat. So I'm thinking 
I was thinking a couple of different things. One, I love my floral, so I was thinking about doing a floral. But I don't want this to be too perfect. At least not this time. Because <laughs> there was a part of me that thought I should use my scan and cut machine and then thought, not this time. This is not the project I want to do that for. Although, wow, would that ever make it easier? <laughs> So here's a funky flower. I'm going to cut that out. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of this magenta looking one, cut a circle. And when I say circle, it's not quite circular. <laughs> and maybe I'll take some green that's in this uh, section. And maybe do another one kind of like that and I'm thinking this sort of layered jelly print to go on the side here would be really kind of fun and then we'll uh, decorate it up after so I'm gonna go ahead and um, paste that down so what I'm gonna do is turn it over and get out my gel medium I have a brush here which had something else in it so maybe I should clean it <laughs> not good Karen there we go all right just put down some gel medium on the back side of my jelly print and attach it to my bowl seal it down from the inside out so this is going on a little milky but it will dry perfectly clear. So there, the larger one. And then, there we go. So I'm just gonna continue and fill up my bowl in this manner and good to go. I think this is going to be super cute. Everything should be down. Some of it is already pretty dry. 
Mm, I got those down. There, I knew there was a little section under there. Um, so what will you use this bowl for? Oh, who the heck knows? <laughs> to look pretty. <laughs> But it would go for anything. It could have a little bit of something, something in it. <laughs> All right. So I am going to want to do some leaves in here as well. So at this point, I'm just going to clean up my space. more greener bits. Hello, Lynn. And I'm just going to cut a few. Notice I'm not caring the suggested leaf. There's nothing realistic about what I'm doing around here, so why pretend to be? <laughs> This is fluid acrylic in one of the bottles. So this is actually a fine line bottle. This would be 18 gauge, might be 20. No, it looks like 18. Um, no, can't tell because it's all goopied here. Um, but I think I'm going to go around the outside of my flowers themselves in the white. This I like. And as I'm talking, or, or as I'm doing this right now, I'm thinking about, um, I don't want to do it quite so perfect. Scribbly, scribbly, scribbly do. Um, I love the fine liners too. I'm trying to decide how I want to do my stems because there's another part of me that says maybe I should get some yarn and put that down. Um, just so you know what's going through my head. So you can kind of see where my edge is here. So now my thought is, um, I'm 
you know what? I'm going to do that with jelly. You don't even know what I'm talking about, but that's okay. I'm going to take these papers and do like a little row all the way around the bottom. And I'm just trying to think if I want to do strips. I think I do. So I'm going to do strips. So I'm just going to cut strips. I'm not really caring what the width is. I'm going to see if I like it. And do strips. Or, now that I've done that, Actually, I like that better. I'm going to do circles. Hopefully I have enough of this that I can do that with. down on my craft mat. Again, this is just fluid acrylic. And use to get a different width. so far and I'm just wondering if I want to do anything else I think I'm probably okay um, there's a part of me that says I should I should do something around the, the top but I think no but I am liking that this is very fun now I think I will um, put some gloss varnish on this. Maybe I'll do that now. <laughs> Looks good to me. Because hopefully this varnish, my, my, this is a nice thin varnish actually, will bring out the sheen. But all those color layers underneath. Actually, this is going on beautifully. Actually, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs>
that I just realized I picked up a little something there. I'll make sure that's cleared off. But um, look at that. Look at that varnish. It's almost dry. I like local music. <laughs> it's all good. But uh, yeah. I really like how this bowl turned out. I'm going to stop the recording but continue on. Okay, guys? So, um, for those of you who are watching me on the recording as I dry this bowl, thank you so much for joining me tonight. And I uh, hope to see you all again next Thursday evening at 6.30 Eastern, where who knows what I'll be doing then. This bowl I will post online. I will post the recording of this video as well on my YouTube page and my blog, theardhousestudio.blogspot.com. You can get to that from theardhousestudio.ca. We'll have the, the photographs as well, as will my Facebook page. Gosh, we're everywhere. <laughs> so come and join us. Hope you come see the finished project and join us again live at 6.30 Eastern on Thursday. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next week.